Okay, this is the table that we use for correlation analysis. Um, and we call this one R, right, for Pearson's R correlation. And um, it's R like that, right? So um, some people say CVR, the critical value of R. I always go um, R crit so that I know, okay, R crit versus R obtained. And um, I've kind of highlighted a little bit these um, two right here. It's 0.05. Right, that's our most common one we use. And then also point zero oops, also point zero one. Um because most of the times we use um, 0 0.05, 0 0.01, but and that's for um, a two-tail test. But then um, also you have um, over here is one-tail test. So let's talk about the differences between that first. Okay, so again, we're trying to find our crit or the critical value of R for our Pearson correlation. So if it is a one-tail test, right up here, like kind of where it's shaded in blue, right? Um, so say it's an alpha level 0 0.05 one-tail test, you're gonna look in this column right here versus an alpha level 0 0.01, um, you're gonna look in this column here. Right? But now if it's a two-tailed test, I mean in the white section here, not the blue, um, alpha 0 0.05 would be now in this column, and 0 0.01 would be in this column. And again, you can get this table off of your Appley at Homework, your, your e-text you have. Okay. So with this one, what you're trying to find is off of degrees of freedom, right? So I have degrees of freedom, um, and degrees of freedom for our Pearson's R is n minus 2, because we're dealing with x variables and y variables. So if I have, um, say I have an alpha um, 0 0.05, and I'm going to run a one-tail test, and my degrees of freedom are 10, as I have 12 people in my study, right? So I have 12 people in my study, so degrees of freedom 10, my um, R crit, or my critical value of R, um, let's see here, 10 would be um, 4 point, or 0.497, right? But now, say I want to do an alpha set at 0 0.01, um, and let's make it a two-tailed test. Same degrees of freedom, watch how different this is. So we'll go 10 degrees of freedom, right? So we want um, this one right here, all right, this whole section right here. And now I want alpha 0 0.01, and I'm going to do it as a two-tailed test. So I'm going to go um, in this section here, right? So my R crit now, my critical value of R to beat, so I can reject that null hypothesis is 0 0.78 or 0 .0, 0 0.708. Okay, um, and that and that's pretty much it. So again, the first question to ask yourself: Okay, um, is it a one-tail or a two-tailed test? Because right, that's going to tell you if you're going to use um, this section or this section. And then second question, what's the alpha level? 0 0.05, 0 0.01, what's the alpha level? The third question is, what's the degrees of freedom? And, if, and you can find that out by just asking what the sample size is. Right? And degrees of freedom is just that sample size minus 2. And that's how you find your critical value of R.